Hi, this is Bill from Water to Gas Hawaii, and I wanted to talk about some of the new projects that we're working on. First of all, this is the uh, unit uh, that we got back. I uh, wanted to talk about this. This is our um, shunt. Basically, it's a wire that runs from the end through the case to the MOSFET, which is located on the fan. And this is the older model. We had the wire coming back down into the case, and you'd have the out over here. One of the changes we made on that is we actually connected a connector right on the on the fan and uh, that keeps us from having to run another wire back inside and also uh, reduces the heat that's generated. Now obviously one of the disadvantages of having a plastic case is that if you do have heat it could melt or uh, possibly even burn. So this is one of the, the challenges that we've had is when people have pushed these uh, beyond their normal amperage rating, uh, this will overheat and melt. So one of the solutions that we're, we've come up with is uh, to actually take the fan that was on this unit along with the knobs and put it on its own separate module. This is, this is now, uh, this right here is a 100 amp version I'm building for a customer and uh, as you can see here we've got the four gauge wires. This is like monster wire compared to some of this other stuff. We also have these two, these are new, we're getting in, as 80 amp relays. And so we put two in, that way it can run in parallel, and that way uh, you get up to 160 amps through these two relays. We also have a 100 amp shunt that's mounted on here, and uh, this is the most exciting part, is a much bigger fan with the uh, MOSFET. You can see it's uh, mounted to this bigger uh, heat sink, take on the heat. This this particular MOSFET is rated at 265 amps. Uh, however, as a 100 amp unit, we're probably going to just go with the uh, slightly lower rated uh, MOSFETs. These are not what we will normally use. But uh, on this right here, you also you can see uh, it says 12 volts, 80 amps. That's what these new relays are. And right now they're just glued on. Uh, we're probably going to have to come up with a better way of mounting those in an in update. So uh, basically the new, the new difference is, is this can be mounted under the hood in the engine compartment and then you can have your control unit inside the vehicle. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I'm real excited that now we can do this. Now I've also discovered something that might be interesting to all you folks that own a zero fossil fuels type PWM. Guess what? You can run your shunt across a shunt like this instead of using wires inside your unit and actually it works. It works uh, because my model is based on the, the ZFF uh, uh, constant current PWM as well. So uh, what's good about that is you take your wires that you connect to the shunts, run it to your uh, amp meter in the car. You can be a small gauge wire that runs across here. Make sure they're equal lengths uh, and uh, basically you can measure and I've got, I'm kind of excited these are our new amp meters that we're going to be getting. They're much smaller than the ones that we've had in the past and uh, you can measure your amperage with this and then where you connect the, the shunt you can also connect across the PWM and where it measures the, uh, the voltage across the wire that's normally used as a shunt. So that's exciting news. Um, this is our old design. We have everything on a much smaller board some of our resistors are mounted vertically, as you can see. Uh, our newer design, I think I might have a, a board laying on this uh, messy table, but our newer design has the, uh, a bigger board and all the resistors are laying flat. So these aren't uh, completely done yet, but these are in process right here. And so you can see the boards are bigger in size. And so anyway, that's... Uh, it for, for me, Bill, at Water to Gas Hawaii, and this is what we're doing.